that we have Lieutenant Tim Robinson with the uh, Wicomico County Sheriff's Office, who's also here for Most Wanted Monday. We'll get to that in just a minute. But this is typically the time of year we see IRS we, yeah, scams. Yeah, we do see the IRS scams. And it, and it's scary. We have two things that happen. Uh, one is somebody goes, you know, Lisa, you go to file your taxes mm -hmm. and you find out that somebody has already submitted a tax return under your Social Security number. And the other problem we see is somebody calls you up pretending to be from the IRS saying there's an arrest warrant, they're coming for you right now. And the only way you can stop the arrest warrant is to make an immediate payment over the phone. And they've even gone so far as using the names of local law enforcement officers. It's not that hard to find out saying that you know, Sheriff Mike Lewis himself is coming for you. What do you say to them? Or is it best just to hang up well, the we're, phone? We're, we're not, I'm gonna tell you right now, Number one, we're not, the sheriff's office or any local police off, officer is not coming after you for unpaid IRS taxes. You're going to know somebody who is in bad, a bad situation with the IRS, they're going to know because they've already been getting a lot of letters and they've, they've had a lot of communications when it finally gets to that point. So it's not going to, it's not going to start off here with an arrest. It's going to start off eventually work your way up there. All right. So before we get to um, the people you have on your Most Wanted Monday mm -hmm. list, you actually have a capture we want to talk yes, about. Yes. Yes, I do. Quanta Dennis, we have actually, we had actually stopped profiling him. We've been trying to find him for a few years and we got information that he was out of state, but he was, uh, he was just picked up in uh, Pokemon at the end of last week. So we'll, job, we'll take everyone. it. We'll yeah, take it. So yeah. one more, a long, a long time resident on the Most Wanted list. So let's so. get into the ones who are still wanted, the ones that we want to keep an eye open out yes. for. We'll kick it off with Bryce Joseph Butler. Yeah, Bryce Butler, we have profiled him a few times before. We've got information that he's up in the Baltimore area. Um, we want him on an arrest warrant where he was charged with a DUI and he has violated the terms of his probation. He's got that hanging over him right now. Next, we have Brandon Lee Conaway. And Brandon Lee Conaway, we believe him right here in Salisbury. We want him on a circuit court bench warrant that was issued uh, just last month after he violated the terms of his probation. All right, and Zachariah Taylor Copsey. Yeah, Zachariah Copsey, um, we believe him to be right here in the Salisbury area. He's 25 years old. We have um, a warrant that was, a, that was issued when he did not appear about two years ago to answer the charges of theft under $100 and malicious destruction of property, uh, commonly referred to as vandalism. All right, and finally, Charles Albert Hare III. Yes, Charles Albert Hare III. Uh, we believe him to be right here in Salisbury. And we have a warrant that was issued from our circuit court after he violated the terms of his probation in case we already can be convicted of felony theft. So if anybody knows where Charles Hare is, all you have to do is pick up the phone and call Crime Solvers. I know that a lot of people are watching the show because I hear it a lot when I go out. But right now, I want to give a special shout out to one of my youngest fans who watch. I hear she watches me every week. So Kenzie, I want you to have a good week today and have a good week this week. And thank you for watching. Lieutenant Tim Robinson with the Wicomico County Sheriff's Department. Thank you so much.